and welcome back to OPC Kids Ministry. Now today we're digging into Psalm 23 and we're going to take a look at how God is our shepherd. But before we do that, let's take a look at our memory verse for this series. And it's found in Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. That one's pretty simple, right? So over the next few weeks, we're going to learn a chapter of the Bible called Psalm 23. And Psalm 23 is the most often quoted psalm. It talks about how God is like a shepherd. So let's add sheep to our field, okay? So here's my pet sheep. We're going to put her right here, okay? Now what do you think I should name her? Hmm, let me see. I think I should name her Daisy because that's my favorite flower. Do you think Daisy's a good name? I think so too. All right. Do any of you guys have a pet? I do. This is Samson. Now, when we started training Samson, some things he picked up very, very fast. And in some things, well, let's just say we're just still working on it, okay? Now, you ever wonder what the hardest animal to train would be? I think it would be a snake. Because how would you get a snake to roll over? Now, not every animal is easy to train. It would be pretty hard to train your pet boa constrictor to roll over. But there's one animal that loves to follow its master. It's the sheep. So let's see what the Bible has to say about God being like our shepherd. And one way God is like our shepherd is that God guides us. So let's find out more about that in his special book. But first, let's talk with God. Let's pray. Dear God, open our hearts and our minds so that we can better hear and feel your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're learning that God is our shepherd. And just as the shepherd guides their sheep, God guides us. Now you might not know much about shepherds. They were pretty common in biblical times. In our Talk About video today, we're going to meet a different kind of shepherd, one that I'm sure you guys are going to love. So make sure to check your emails for the video and pay attention because I've got some questions for you to answer. Now, like I said earlier, we're learning that God guides us like a shepherd guides his sheep. And we'll be learning from Psalm 23 for the next few weeks. And that's the most famous chapter from the book of Psalms. And it compares God to a shepherd. So let's see how it starts. We read in Psalm 23, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. Hmm, kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's right, it's our memory verse. So, what do you think a sheep really needs? Food, water, and a place to stay, right? So, I've made a little pen for Daisy, so I can provide her with everything she needs, okay? And later, as we go through the series, We'll add some more sheep to the to the pen here and I will show you how to make these little pom-pom sheep so you guys can add sheep as we go okay now there's another part of the Bible where Jesus talks about being our shepherd in John 10 we read I tell you the truth anyone who sneaks over the wall of the sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber but the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep the gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by the name, by name, and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. So here I have Daisy in her pen, and here is a shepherd calling for her. Now, I know he's small, but we kind of work with whatever materials we have here, okay? So, but we've got somebody else. I wonder what this is. It's a wolf. And I wonder why we have a wolf there. So let's keep reading. Verses 11 to 15, we read, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. And so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he's working only for the money and doesn't care about the sheep. 
but I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me just as my father knows me and I know the father. So I will sacrifice my life for the sheep. Now I want you to think about how God is like a shepherd, right? In what ways does God guide you? Now shepherd loves his sheep, right? God loves us. And he guides them to food and water so that they have everything they need. And God tells us he will always provide. He guides them away from danger so they don't get hurt. And God guides us. So God is our shepherd. Let's wrap this up in prayer. Dear God, thank you for being our shepherd. Please guide us when we feel uncertain about what's going on in our lives. Guide us to make wise choices. Guide us to talk to you when we are worried or scared or even if we're happy and thankful, or maybe we just need to talk about something, but help us to follow your guidance. In Jesus' name we pray, and all the children say, Amen. Uh, it's great to be back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, remember that God is our shepherd, and he will guide us. Stay safe, everyone. Ciao. I don't need to worry, because my God takes care of